going out with him for three weeks, Joe. It's getting a little tough to keep him on second base. I just didn't think things were going to go this far, this fast. I'm getting a little nervous. I'm not going to sleep with him, Joe, but I don't know how much longer I can say no. Is this the kind of guy I take no for an answer? Danny's used to getting what he wants. I just don't want to be in a position where I have no choice. I didn't join the FBI to be a hooker. Yeah, and I'm not 300 all I'm at him. Look, uh, I don't want you in that situation either. How safe do you feel? I don't know. I'm OK, I guess. All right. Try to duck this guy as much as you can. When's your next date? After the shift. Great. I'll make sure somebody's close. How much longer are you going to need me on this one? You know, until we can get a handle on what he's got going on. What's my way out going to be? I don't know. We'll figure something out. What about Danny's father? Any word from him? No, he's still running things from Ireland. That's as much as I can get. Two guys came into the bar this afternoon. Uh, Nick Lecce and Johnny O'Hara. Danny met with him. Well, these guys are big chefs. You sure it was them? Yeah, yeah. Danny introduces me to everybody. All right, look. This assignment, it's difficult. You know what you're doing is important, right? Yeah, Joe. I'm a very valuable piece of asset. <laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> Andy, come on, you gotta do a little bit with this deal, man. Sorry, right, guys, that's what I can do. Look, I gotta go. Wait a minute. Where you going? Wait a minute. Maybe you should talk to your father before you put this deal to us. And he would never offer us crap like this. Well, for your own good, Danny. My own good? Yeah. Now, let me tell you both something, all right? I already spoke to my father. Would you rather have what he offered? Okay, what did he offer? No, no, no. You take my deal. Or you accept my father's offer without knowing what it is. You either trust me to do the right thing by you, or you just trust that you have a better relationship with my father than I do. It's that simple. Lily, come here. Honey, come here. I want you to meet a few old friends of mine from back east. Lily, this is Jay Connor, Max Morgan. Lily's my girlfriend. Hi. Hey, hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can I get you anything else? Thanks, we're fine. Good. Yeah, I can't help it. Gonna be. What's it gonna be? Yeah. No, take it easy. We'll do your deal, Danny. Good. <laughs> Cheers. What's up? Sean's outside. Uh, excuse me. Listen, take your time, finish your drinks. We'll be in touch. Sean. You okay? Didn't I tell you that you can't play games with us? Now look what's happened. Then you oh, No, it's a little late for explanations, all right? But still, the look of you stirs pity in me. So I'm gonna give you one more week to pay up. One week, Sean. Just look in the mirror if you think that you can pull this again. Look in the mirror and remember, it can get worse. Yeah. Oh, he's right here, sir. Dad. Yeah, hi. No, everything's fine. I took care of it. Yeah, they took my deal. Mom's good. You know where? We're good. I would just miss you. I love you too, Dad. Listen, I'm in a celebrating mood, so these drinks are on the house, all right? Thank you. Hey, don't thank me. Thank the beautiful lady. Thank you. Come on. I guess I'm going to sing. Is everything OK? Yeah, everything's fine. Just listen. Look. And I've been open with you, Lily. You know, you see how things are in my life. And I'm living a life that isn't exactly on the straight and narrow. I know. You know, my father, he's done some pretty bad things. And, but I don't want to live this life forever. And I quit if I could. 
Well, what's stopping you? Nothing, not since I met you. Now, you have a goodness in you. And I don't want to ruin that. Make you hard like my father made my mother. And I know that we haven't really known each other for a long time, but... Please. I love you, Lily. I want to marry you. Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> said anything about getting married yes i'll marry you danny which automatically makes you a big part of the family you meet all of the associates and his mother who's got a nose in everything well i doubt his mother and i are going to be instant friends i'm getting engaged to her only son that makes me the other woman either way you're in when danny calls the old man and tells him the good news maybe colin fitzpatrick one of the worst crime bosses out there comes crawling out from under his rock long enough to grab his son of a bitch you really think he's going to risk coming all the way back here just to toast the bride and groom? Danny's his only son, and family's everything to this guy. He's not going to tell his father he wants out of the business over the phone. So either Danny's going to Ireland or Colin comes here. Either way, Colin has to show himself. Look, all I'm saying is this opportunity fell in our lap. And we got to roll the dice. Hey, if it makes you feel any better, I'd marry Danny myself. But I don't think the old man would show up for that wedding. He'll probably move in through Montreal and down through the Mohawk Reservation. There's no border crossing there. Have his people pick him up on the other side with all the documents he needs. Mm. Oh, you want me to uh, maybe call Interpol and give him the heads up? Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. So we pull this off. What's it going to cost us? Well, you know weddings aren't cheap, especially this one. These people are going to be expecting a real good show. OK. Well, our case budgets. See if we can move some money around if we have to. So when Colin shows, he's going to want his friends to be there, take care of business during the festivities, kill two birds with one stone. We're going to need all those little birds to make a case against him. Doesn't matter what it costs. We can close a lot of files. What's this about Lily getting married to Danny Fitzpatrick? It was love at first sight. Really? How did we pull that one off? Oh, it wasn't us. It was all Lily. She was in as a bartender. Danny walks in, sees her, hits on her right away. She's got guts, how she managed to keep him out of her pants. Playing a devout Catholic girl. Promised her dying mother she'd wait for the vows. And he's an Irish gangster. Virginity only encouraged him, right? Let's get married right away, Danny. I don't want to wait. That's what I'm thinking. I'm sorry you can get your dispensation on that. I'm curious. I you still have to ask my dad for my hand. And you still need to talk to my mother. She'll be here in a couple of days. Well, I'll tell my dad right now. Maybe he'll fly out. Yeah. What if he says no? Well, you better hope he doesn't. Who is it? 
It's your sister. Hey. Hey. Oh, wow. Looking hot tonight. <laughs> just saw your boyfriend leave. Since you got them all tied up in knots. Yeah, well, just doing my job. Mm-hmm. Anyway, you got some hits on your backstory. Seems somebody's been checking your references since you put in the application at the bar. We got you covered so far, but just in case you get asked, here is where your mother was buried and your elementary school and a few other things. Great. Thanks. Oh, man, I love this apartment. I used this place on a gig once for six months where I was an investment banker who was in love with the bank president. And he embezzled, like, I don't know, a million dollars from his branch. And he, he was handsome. How you feeling? I need a reality check or anything. I'm here for you. You know, I know that this relationship stuff can get really complicated sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting a little weird. Yeah? What part? Well, all the kissing. Yeah. The touching. Yeah, the touching. I don't even want to say it, but it turns me on. And I know it's just a physical reaction, but it shakes you. Yeah. I know the feeling. This is where it gets hard. Emma. Lily, this is my mother. Call me Siobhan. Hi, Siobhan. It's so nice to meet you. Well, you don't really have much of a choice, do you? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I was thinking about a fall wedding. What were you two thinking about? Well, we wanted to be married immediately. Let me guess, that was Danny's idea. No. No, it's what we both want. And my father's okay with it. I already hired a wedding planner. Well, let me get this in the other room. Are you okay? Yeah. Fine. Great. I assume Danny's told you about our family. Yeah. I'm aware of what he does. And it doesn't bother you? I love Danny. If this is the life he chooses, I support it. But what about you? Because it comes with a lot of responsibilities. And once you're involved, you can't just walk away. Are you sure this is the life that you want for yourself? Were you ready when you married Danny's father? <sighs> no. My father tried to talk me out of it. I've made a lot of sacrifices, and so has my family. Are you sorry you married him? Sometimes. When I haven't seen him for a year or more. Well, I'm sure I'll regret a few things, but I don't want to regret that I didn't marry Danny. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. You know, of course, Danny was raised Catholic, and he told me you were too, so I'm hoping you'll get married in the church. Of course. <laughs> Joe, somehow this really happens and I get married in the Catholic Church, I'll really be getting married. I'll be taking vows. It's a sacrament. It's sacred. The Catholic Church is never going to go along with a fake wedding. You've thought of that, right? We're going to take Colin down before you even get to the altar. Yeah, but what if that doesn't happen and I have to go through with it? Worst case scenario, you get it an altar. Worst case scenario? For who? You're not the one standing up there in a wedding dress. Joe, getting married means something to me, okay? I, I've never been married, and I want to get married. I don't want to say I do to somebody I don't. It's not that big a deal. Most times you say I do to somebody you wish you hadn't. That's why they invented divorce lawyers. I don't want to talk about divorce. I'm not even married yet. Look, I hope you kids have a wonderful life together. <laughs> Come on. You and Danny got to meet with the priest. 
Oh, great. I'm lying to a priest now. I'm going to burn in hell. Kenny, you've only been together a month. It's not a very long time. I know, Father, but we both feel that it's right. We love each other. I understand, but what I'm suggesting is a cooling off period where you both can think this thing through. We have thought it through, and it's what we want. When were you two thinking of getting married? Next weekend. <laughs> Next weekend? Doesn't give us much time now, does it? Would either of you like to take confession? Daniel? No, Father. No, thank you. Glad that's over with. I thought it was nice. Yeah, well, it's not like he's gonna say no. Then his stained glass window they got in there. My dad gave it to him. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Hold on. It's my daddy wants to talk to you. Hello? Uh-huh. I've heard a lot about you, too. Are you going to be able to make it to the wedding? We both want that very much. I don't know. I'll have to ask. Yeah, I understand. You too. <laughs> Bye. What do you say? He wants us to get married in Ireland. Well, that's a great idea. I should have thought of that myself. No, it's perfect. You're going to love Ireland. No, I can't get married in Ireland. All my family and my friends, they're all here. No, Look, forget it. Hold on. It's not that simple, okay? He can't just hop on a plane. There's arrangements got to be made. Well, can I help? Can she help? Look at you. What are you going to do? Are you going to take on the whole federal government by yourself? Yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I love you. You're too much. I will look. He's not going to care how you look. He's going to care how I look. Hello, Danny. Come on in, kid. I missed you so much. I missed you more. So, kids, look, I didn't know what to do. Uh, you want to go downstairs, get something to eat? I can order something up. Actually, I already ate. Are you hungry? No, thanks. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Danny, it's beautiful. Honey, give Danny and me a minute, and I get something for you. It's in my suitcase in the bedroom. It's the big brown one. Okay. Be nice to him. Yeah, I got you. Go look. Danny. Let me get right to the point. Lily would never tell me, but I read the papers. I know about your family, the line of work that they're in. I... I don't want Lily mixed up in anything that's going to hurt her. No, I will protect her. I promise. I love your daughter very much. Lily's the most precious thing in the world to me. And I promise you that if you put her in harm's way, I'll kill you. Daddy? Is this Mom's wedding dress? Thank you so much. I'm gonna go try it on, but you can't see it, Danny. Not till the wedding, okay? You know, my mom wore her mom's wedding dress at her wedding, too. You remember I told you, sweetheart? Yeah. You know, Joe, your mommy and my father, what you just said, you would have said the same thing. Fathers have to make sure that kids don't do stupid things. So when do I get to meet him? Uh, well, he's out of the country right now. Yeah. He wants to be here, but we don't know yet if he can make it. You know, this is not just about you and Lily. It's about, it's about two families getting together. And I think it's important that you meet both your parents. 
Okay. I have 28 names. How many do you have? Right, I got 18 on mine. I have 20 on my dad's and the rest are my mom's. They're mostly family. You have a big family. Uh-huh. Sure. Right, these are guys that I've known from before back in New York. And these are guys that my dad's done business with. I've known them all my life. My dad advised them, Marshall, they'll come. Mm -hmm. Come on, we have to get this done. Oh, okay. Just tell me about this guy. <laughs> so where's the wedding? Well, he finally agreed to have it here. There's still no guarantees Dad's gonna show up. You better show I'm gonna waste 50 grand of the taxpayer's money on this wedding. Is that the list? Yeah. These are Danny's guys here, and these are his dad's. Butler, Castile, Grant, Kelly, all big players and all fugitives on the same RICO warrant, and we don't know where any of them are. Well, I know where two of them are. Castillo and Kelly, they're in Costa Rica. Danny told me. You really think all these guys are going to show? Well, let's put them on the list. The gifts? No, 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 no. He's going to be mixing business with pleasure, which is perfect for us. I want all these guys. Just don't know if your father can make it. It's almost impossible for him to make arrangements so quickly. It's never stopped him before from doing what he wants. Do you want him to get caught? No, I don't want him to get caught. I just want my father to be a part of my life. And I need to talk to him about what I want to do. Can't do it over the phone, not this. What are you talking about? Look, after I marry Lily, I want to do something on my own. I don't think I want to do what Dad wants me to do. All right, there are things about what he does that I don't like. Oh, God, Danny. Do you know what this means to all of us? Hello, Danny. Hi. Okay. Lily tells me you're in real estate development. Shopping malls, few buildings. Tell me the year you bought this house. I'll tell you how much you paid for it. Yeah, don't remind me too much. No, no, no. Give it 10 years, the way the market's going in California. Sitting on the mother load. Have you booked a hole yet? Because a friend of ours has a hotel he's offered us, and it has a ballroom that would be ideal for the reception. Well, we already have the Knights of Columbus Hall reserved. But if you really think the hotel would be better... I think it would be, yes. If my husband comes, I think he'd be more comfortable in familiar surroundings. Not a problem. Happy to do it. All right, everybody. Let's try it. Joe. Great. Great. Fantastic. Okay. Everybody ready? Da. Da da da. Okay. There you are. <laughs> Fantastic, sweetie. You want to slow down? It's not a race. Okay. Gentle. Plenty. Flower petals. Graceful like a swan. Beautiful. Stunning. Really something else. You're fantastic. Very good at what you do. Okay, now, sir, you want to come get your bride? Can I just my daughter? Yes, you can. Fantastic. Where do I go? Where the hell do I go, Danny? Huh? Where? Excuse me, but we're in the middle of a wedding rehearsal here. Megan, what do you want? Is this her? Is this her? Take a look. Hey. Take a look. I'm carrying his baby. I'm the mother of his baby. <laughs> Lily. No, no, no. Joe, come on. You don't believe her. Come on. She's lying. You're the liar. Get her out of here. I know this girl. She's promiscuous. She's been up to Danny for months with this nonsense. There's absolutely no truth to it. You make me sick. I'm the one who's supposed to be here, not her. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let me. I want to go and find Lily no, right now. No. I want to talk to Stay her. Stay away from her. The both of you. Nothing's happening till I get to the bottom of this. That was not in the wedding planner's manual. What's the pregnant girl's name? Megan Barkowski with an I. All right, do a background check. Whether it's Danny's kid or not, she could sue his ass for child support after this wedding. All right. How's our money holding up? Well, I managed to squeeze about $56,482 from the case budgets, but if you invite one more person, it's cheese plates, it's in my number box, OK? I could think of a few other ways you could have handled that. Well, if that had been my wedding rehearsal, I would have killed him. So I think my reaction was completely within character and pretty restrained, considering. Well, now we got to put this back together. You're going to have to forgive and forget. No. 
My character needs time, Joe. I'm livid. I want to tear his eyes out and choke him. And I'm into this wedding for over 50 grand, so we got to stay on schedule. I know, but this could be my exit strategy. I mean, we still don't even know if Colin's going to show up. Call Danny. Joe, I'm emotionally distraught. Get over it. Fine. I'll forgive him. But he's going to have to suffer a little bit first. He's already suffering. Guy's been with you three weeks and still hasn't gotten laid. These are affidavits from witnesses who say they heard Megan saying she was going to get pregnant with Danny's child and then take him for a lot of money. I guess the family in your situation can expect this kind of thing. You're in the public eye. You can't be a target for anybody who has an axe to grind. Here she comes. You didn't tell me the father of the bride was going to be here. Sit down. I'll be quick. Here's the check for the amount we agreed on. When the baby's born, there'll be a DNA test. And if the baby's Danny's, we'll get another check like that every year. Sign this. What is it? It's a receipt that you got the money and that you agree not to contact Danny anymore. It's not enough. Don't be greedy. It's not attractive on a pregnant woman. Sign it. You're lucky you're dealing with me and not my husband. Now get out of here. did that cost you? A hundred thousand dollars. I hope I never see her again. But then again, money is no guarantee. Well, you've convinced me. Well, there are, well he's going to be another matter. She, she's, she's very hard. <laughs> Hello. Danny? Incredible. You give us a few minutes. I'm sorry. I'm more sorry than I can ever tell you. But I can't lie to you. I did go out with her before, but not for long. You know, a few dates, three, four. But you want me to be honest with you? I'm being honest with you. Look, I know that nothing I say or do is going to make up for what happened. Please, you gotta accept it. Oh my God, Danny. Forgive me. I love you, Danny. Okay, I'm thinking that this floral arrangement will look fabulous in the ballroom. And this is something I did last year. I'll show you. You see how the white roses give the bride a sort of halo effect? Mm-hmm. And what were you thinking about the cake? Oh, for the cake, I'm thinking two small ones, one large one in the middle. And we're going to need to go through that ballroom as soon as possible. Of course. I'll call and make a time, and I'll meet you there. Siobhan? 
I was just going over the RSVPs. Is this all of them? Would you excuse us, please? Absolutely. Oh, I just noticed there were some people who could only make it to the, uh, to the reception and not the ceremony. Yes. Well, some of them have a long way to travel. Have some cake. So, Colin's boys RSVP. They're not going to make the ceremony, just the reception. That's bad. Then we'll have to go through with the I do's. What? You're going to have to marry the guy. Joe. It's going to be hard to have a reception without a ceremony. Well, if we go through with it, how are we going to keep from blowing our cover? Other agents will take him down at the reception. It's going to look like it came from the outside. That's our out. Yeah. I'll call you once the hotel is secure, and then you'll give us the signal to take him down. And as your father, there is no way I'm going to let you stay married to somebody who's going to prison. Joe, I know you think getting married is a stupid ritual. But I don't, and it means something to me. I don't want to ruin my feelings about it. This is going to leave a bad taste. And buy a pack of gum. Look at this as a start of marriage. Make all your mistakes on taxpayer dollars. Yeah. Hey, Danny. Tonight. Great, thanks. Guess you just got invited to Danny's bachelor party. The father of the bride, right? Yes, sir. Danny Boy. My boy. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Think I'd miss my only son's wedding, do you? Call him. Thanks for coming. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, man. 50 bucks, pay up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rack them. 100 bucks, I clean your clock. Uh, where are your people from, Joe? Small town east of Rome, about 100 miles. Yeah, I was in Rome a couple of years ago. I had an audience with the Pope. Remind me of this little Polish guy from my neighborhood used to run the corner store. Made a little book on the side. I just let us steal hard candy out of the jars. We got the same story. People were immigrants, came here with nothing, looking for a better life. Yeah, I didn't hand it to him on a silver platter either. So struggled just to put food on the table. Yeah. It was hunger that built this country. That's the truth. Well, my grandfather, when he first came over, was uh, sweeping up in a barber shop for pennies at some hotel. Some guy comes in and says, uh, hey, you want to help us unload a boat? Turns out it was... Uh, one of Joe Kennedy's boats full of rum coming down from Canada. I don't read about that in the history books. Oh, There's no shame in bending the rules to feed your family. Back then, nobody looked at you sideways for that. My grandpa worked for a bootlegger in Cleveland. Whiskey, Dick to Coco. Name ring a bell? No, I don't think so. It's mine a player, but my point, there's always been other ways of making money going on. Whole countries have run on it. Yeah. I think you and I will get along just fine, Joe. We uh, think alike. And that. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, we got to uh, be going. But we got to go. Stick around for a cup of coffee. Yeah, now we got some stuff to do. Take care of some business. So. Mm -hmm. We'll see you at the wedding, Joe. So, Colin, thanks for coming. Yeah. You know what it took. It means a lot to the way, man. It's my pleasure. All right, so your mom said you need to talk to me. You got a problem or something? What's up? No, everything's okay. Got one in the potted plant by the left door and another covering from across the street. I hate this. I feel 
sick. I think I'm gonna throw up. I feel nervous about getting married, and I'm not even getting married. How's my hair? Colin is just heading in a side door to the sacristy now. He's got a couple of guys with him. They're hanging outside. All right, he's here. All right, I'm on my way. Lily, I think you look pretty. Thanks, Joe. Henry Unger, nice to meet you. Henry, I'm Joe Fiano. Welcome, Lily's dad. Come on in. How do you do, Joe Fiano? Hello, I'm Danny's aunt, Sarah O'Hara. This is my husband, Tom. I'm Sarah. I'm Joe Fiano. Lily's dad. Come on in. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I wouldn't miss Danny's wedding for the world. How long since she was a baby? Darn hell. You're a lucky girl like Danny. Hey, well, no, he's not in the like database. Gotta get my little girl. Have we met before? Um, uh, no, I don't think so. You mean today? Chad McGibbon. No, Chad, I don't think so. You look familiar. Well, they say I have a friendly face. Probably not. Good luck. Hi, Joe Fiano. Come on in. I'm Lily's dad. Hi. Hi. Come on in. Welcome. Welcome. Lily's dad. Hey, there's a guy out there. I nailed 20 years ago when I was working in Jersey. I testified against him in court. What are you talking about? He recognized me. He doesn't know how, but he knows me. Now, I tapped this guy. And now he comes back to haunt me. I want to know why he wasn't on the list. He puts this together, we're screwed. D, problem. Chad McGibbon, he wasn't on the invite list. Find out how he got here. I thought you were running things. Oh, boy. up on the right, gray hair is staring at me. Just look at me, I smile. Please be seated. gathered here today to not only celebrate the union of these two beautiful people, but to also acknowledge what the power of love can bring together. I need any aliases McGibbon's using. I'll find out who he came with. Rerun your tape of the parking lot, find the car McGibbon got out of, run the license plate and tell me which registered to. And Lily, you take Danny to be your husband, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, as long as you both shall live? I do. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Mrs. Fitzpatrick. I like the sound of that. Me too. Come here, Mrs. Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Danny. Danny. Sorry. 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 Dad. It's just that there's a couple of things I want to say to you guys, and this might be the last chance I get to say it, so... Uh, it's just that it's hard... to say goodbye to your little girl.
Just got word. Yeah, Butler, Kelly, Walker, and Castillo are all here. We got all six of them inside. Chad McGinn came in Collins' car. Up until a couple of days ago, he was doing time for Lone Shark. Yeah. Just got out of jail, and that's the reason why he was on the list. All right. Get ready, because if this guy makes me, you have to move in the face. All right, gotcha. You been in New Jersey, Joe? I spent a lot of time there. Jersey, sure. Yeah, I know Jersey well. Yeah, what, what part? Jersey City. My brother lives there. Are you from there? Uh, no, I was born in New York, but I spent 10 years in Jersey. So you got a brother there, huh? Yeah, yeah, he's been there forever. You older or younger? Actually, he's younger by two and a half minutes. We're twins. But his wife says I'm better looking. Excuse me. I tie at this dance. I've been made. It means we're all made. I'm gonna have to do this now. Sorry. What do you want me to do? Ray. Be ready for whatever goes down and smile. Dancer, Joe. I believe the next dance. No, no, right now we need to have a little chat, straighten some things out. What's up? I had a little talk with Joe. Why don't you come along, Danny? I down. You know what? Let me let me just make a toast. Father of the bride. Excuse me. Excuse me. Everybody, can I have attention for a minute? Excuse me. I'd like to make a toast. Thank you. To Colin Fitzpatrick, who traveled all this way from his hideout in Ireland, and his lovely wife, Siobhan, and Danny Fitzpatrick, their son, and to all of his friends who journeyed here from all over the world, let me just say, you all have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Thank you. 